avoid competitive jealousy the second key avoid competitive jealousy proverbs 14 and verse 30 proverbs 27 and verse 4 just write it down for reference we'll deal with it hopefully when we're dealing with um it says a sound heart is the life of the flesh but envy the rottenness of the bones envy has an effect that affects you eventually medically avoid competitive jealousy this is why they are called covenants now let me tell you something there are three there are three levels of perceiving things the highest is discernment followed by reason then emotions discernment reasoning emotions emotions is based on your your feeling this is the weakest is the weakest um form of perception emotions because they vacillate i can be happy now and sad tomorrow are we in agreement then reasoning reasoning you are tied to logic and principles so there is some form of stability but the highest is discernment and discernment is what really produces covenant covenant is the strongest dimension of relationship because it is bound by an oath that is non-emotional are you getting what i'm saying now yes emotions vacillate when i'm happy i act this way when i'm angry i act this way that's emotions reason here and there you can try to put a lot of philosophy and if it adds up then you move if it doesn't then you... but covenant relationships are powerful this is one of the secrets of the jews this is one of the secrets of non-christians they are people who are bound by covenant are we together yes believers largely operate their their perception is largely emotional wow this is wonderful you bought me this tomorrow is gone wow this is wonderful you gave me a job tomorrow it is done but covenant produces consistency the only way to conquer your emotional vacillations is to rise to the realm of covenant covenant gives the parties involved in the relationship security because they are aware that it's not about what they do or don't do you are bound by an oath we stand together we die together so the fear of trying to be excessively formal is no longer there jewish relationships till date operate by covenant are we blessed so avoid competitive jealousy and the cure is covenant you bind yourself to rejoice at the rising and the well-being of everyone whether it's a company whether it's a business you are a man of god you are in a covenant relationship with another man of god you bind yourself with a covenant that i will never i will fight any trace of jealousy whatsoever i commit myself to celebrating everyone around me who rises are we blessed avoid competitive jealousy jealousy has nothing to do with being good or bad It's the side effect of being human you have to understand jealousy is the natural consequence of someone who gets ahead of you and is excelling generally the temptation is that there will be something in you that tries to make you feel lazy make you feel like you are not making progress are we together so it is a natural response but you can fight it with revelation as mighty as god is he did not wait for us to be great before he gave us his life he took the risk right from a sinner you're a benefactor of divine life immediately what level of self-confidence are we blessed avoid competitive jealousy number three avoid backbiting and evil speaking these are basic things but just to let us know evil speaking evil speaking evil speaking titus chapter 3 and verse 2 just write for reference 
Proverbs chapter 6 from verse 16 to 19. Titus 3 and verse 2 says, To speak evil of no man, and to be no brawlers, but gentle, showing all meekness unto all men. To speak evil of no man. Number 4, very quickly. Avoid offense. This is a very serious one. You want to maintain destiny relationships, avoid offense. Offense is the ease with which you get irritated, angry, or resentful. The ease with which you get irritated, angry, or resentful. First Corinthians 13 and verse 5 gives us a warning that the character of true love is not easily offended. The ease with which you get irritated, angry, and resentful. Please look up. There is no such thing like we are born like that. That's how all of us are known. That's how familiar spirits have kept the family for a long time. And there can be deliverance. Are we together? There is no such thing as we are like that. I'm like that or I'm born again. But when I get angry, even God steps back until I calm down. It's not a testimony. Yes, we can start the way we are. Listen carefully. We can start the way we are, but we must trust God to grow into a level of maturity through knowledge through understanding are we blessed avoid offense say in the name of jesus i avoid offense number five practice forgiveness and tolerance practice forgiveness and tolerance for reference please write these scriptures down very quickly mark 11 and verse 25 mark 11 and verse 25 the bible says and when you stand praying forgive if you have ought against any that your heavenly father in heaven may also forgive you your trespasses very instructive ephesians chapter 4 and verse 32 ephesians 4 and verse 32 the bible says be kind to one another tender-hearted forgiving one another even as god for christ's sake had forgiven you for christ's sake had forgiven you this is very powerful the difference between forgiveness and tolerance or forbearance please look up i'm already laughing at myself the difference forgiveness has to do with trespassing forbearance has to do with accommodating that limitation knowing it will happen again are you seeing the difference now many of you can only forgive you cannot forbear you need both if you want to survive to this world you need both forgiveness and forbearance forbearance means you factor in that limitation and you know it will happen again respectfully maybe a man shouts at his wife and says sorry it will not happen again the wife should know it's a joke <laughs> it will happen again you don't need forgiveness don't say i forgive you no you are wrong what you need is what forbearance there are many reasons why it will happen forbearance and forgiveness if you only know how to forgive you'll be in trouble because you will be tied to a fellow staff who will annoy you every day can i tell you this the moment you wake up in the morning just know that this day that the lord has made is full of many things and you have to prepare your heart in advance just when you're driving to the office someone comes and just tries to meander in a way that almost hits you and then insults you still do you need forgiveness no don't say i forgive you just when you are done with that one someone else will come you need forbearance you factor it that human beings are in, at different levels they have chosen to make themselves so and since i'm coexisting with them i factor it in my heart that this no longer surprises me say amen, amen. practice forgiveness and tolerance or forbearance number six the sixth way we maintain relationship is very instructive please listen be a contributor 
to the growth of the other party you must be a contributor to the growth of other uh, the other party in as much as we started by speaking about being selfless selflessness cannot be one-sided it is both ways are we together acts chapter 20 and verse 35 says it is more blessed to give than to receive it is more blessed to give than to receive there is no relationship that truly has a future when it is one-sided as far as contribution is concerned whether it's a spouse companies friends ministerial relationships it has to be two ways and let me tell you this money is the least way to contribute to a relationship you will be surprised but this is true money is not everything there are many things that don't need money are we together yes be a contributor to the growth of the other party pray for your business partner it is difficult to criticize anybody you pray for the cure for a critical spirit is a genuine heart that prays father lift this man of god bless this woman of god bless this ceo bless my wife bless my husband and you contribute to their growth it's children that always ask what did you buy for me as soon as you are arriving they are running around they don't care what has happened what did you buy for me many of us still have that attitude and we take that same attitude to god father we thank you you are the lion of the tribe of judah the root of david the this and that and god says what what are you here for just ask just leave all those preambles i know that you are not here for anything and he said god i've been talking to you about this are you not seeing i'm, I'm living in abuja Are we blessed think how beautiful a relationship is when the parties involved are aware that they become eternally committed to contributing to the growth and the well-being of one another that's how it works you're a business partner with five other people you've never done anything good you've not suggested anything right you've not even brought a man of god to pray for the business look at jonah you see that kind of relationship jonah was in the boat what happened he was sleeping while the people were dying they were throwing their things he would have just gotten up to say listen let me save you this loss i'm the reason he kept quiet until they casted lots and they found him jonah why did you allow people have to lose so much he was sleeping at least jesus was also sleeping but when he woke up he said no 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 it's not a parasitic relationship now step back peace be still they benefited from it are we together i don't want us to joke so much there are many serious things to say so i'm not going to give any examples <laughs> but it's interesting we live in a very interesting world there are people who have a way of discerning when you have prepared your meal you know that and here they come glory be to god calvary greetings peace be unto this house and so on and so forth please help the needy please help the needy
understand what I'm saying but you see the moment you become a receiver a receiver alone a receiver alone a receiver alone sooner or later you will find out that there is nobody around you again nobody receives a nobel prize for receiving you receive a nobel prize for your contribution is that true make up your mind from this teaching tonight look for all the people who have significantly blessed you you must find something in their life that you can do you can pray for them everybody has a need everybody has a desire it does not have to be monetary someone has been paying your school fees for three years four years make up your mind that one day you go and wash his car whether he allows you or not carry the bucket in advance and say sir i i know that you don't have a need i love david you see why david is a man after god's heart david sat down one day and said lord i know you are seated in heaven heaven is your throne the earth is your footstool you do not need any house but how can i be here and not have a house for my god i will arise and build you a house and god was listening and he said this man what do i now do with you he said well your hands have shed blood i can't allow you build he said no problem i will gather the raw materials and my son solomon will build it the man after god's heart not even abraham was called a man after god's heart this is a powerful secret could that be why your destiny helper stop picking your calls because every time we'll talk a bit on destiny helpers every time you you just call them they know that the greeting is just a preamble let me tell you something with human beings the kindest of men is not foolish nobody will indefinitely continue to invest in lives that do not have any discernment to at least participate god you keep blessing me I'm breathing, I'm happy, I'm doing all these things. There has to be something that brings you joy. And so your assignment to find is to find out what pleases the Father. I, can, I may not be able to do everything, but I must find something that brings joy to the Father. If it's souls, if it's service in the house of God, there has to be something that directly supports kingdom come. Hallelujah. This is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased there are other beloved sons but he is not well pleased be a contributor to the growth of the other party one of our dear ladies was walking one time in the bank and i gave her an advice i said you package wine and go and meet your boss just ask for permission step into his office and he will usually be serious that's work hour and greet him just tell him sir i'm here to say thank you thank you for believing in me thank you for the time you've taken to train me thank you for all that you've invested in me i want you to know that it's not been in vain this is a token of my honor and my appreciation let me tell you what he will do he will act like you just made noise he will say go It's when you shut that door he will sit down and say i've gotten my next executive director whereas someone is shouting and binding and jumping up and down and rolling and doors will never open because these are the mysteries of the kingdom relationship
initiatives are powerful there are people today who are occupying electoral positions not because they necessarily have the capacity to the degree that should warrant them sitting there certain relationships i remember you did something for me in 1991 now that god has brought me in this position i would not leave you hungry it's powerful to invest in people so think whilst you are seated and listening to me what may be the reason why helpers of your destiny would come and then leave it could be that you are focused on what i will get my uncle just arrived his car is dirty no one can have the wisdom to wash it he's hungry no one gave him a meal and yet everybody is sitting down and gossiping now he's about to go let's see how much he will give then the man just walks away then you curse and curse and say god these are the people that were praying no and i will not be silent i will always you are contributing to his joy for as long as i am breathing i will always so you practice this use it for any relationship and watch how things begin to change how their perception begins to change towards you are we learning now